Hey YouTube, what's good? It's your boy the American African. Today is day three of this water fast. It's been going pretty smooth. I still feel pretty full. Um But food is really uh tempting right now. Like I'm not like saying I'm about to go get something type of tempted, but like if I just smell it, I just start thinking about food and when I see it, I'll be like, huh, food. So I'm just going to stay away from food at all costs, you know. Uh, I went to the cinema. I just got back from the cinema. Yesterday, I saw Devotion. It was so-so. Today, I, I tried to watch Strange World. I, I wasn't feeling it. I, had, I walked out that. Um, I have my energy. You know, I feel good. Um, you know, when I was breaking my fast a few days ago, um, I had dry mouth at that time, right? And this year, all my fasts, maybe maybe not all, maybe all but one, dry mouth has plagued me. And it's just really annoying. And sometimes I dread going to sleep because when I know when I wake up, I have dry mouth. And I even bought a mouthwash. I bought a, a dry mouth mouth rinse. It's, it's decent, okay? But it's like, it says it lasts for four hours. And I mean, it lasts for exactly four hours. So if I'm sleeping six hours and I wake up, I'm fucked up again. <sighs> but um, I keep looking in the mirror and I just keep saying, damn, I got a long way to go. And I keep looking at pictures and saying, I got a long way to go. And it's okay. It's okay because I'm, I'm prepared for it. You know, this time of the year when it's cold and it's dark early, it's, it's, it's easier for me to fast because I'm not thinking about it having fun as much, you know, pretty calm, pretty chill, but it doesn't mean this is the situation I want to be in, so, you know, I, I've still just been thinking all year, all year, I've been thinking about food addiction, food addiction, food addiction, right, do I want to, do I want to pretend like I don't have a problem and just say I can fix this, I can control it? Or do I do I want to finally be honest with myself and say I have a problem? At least 60, 70 percent of the foods that exist are triggers and I just gotta eliminate them. Or if it's not the foods itself, then it's the additives that are added to them. Or that I add into them. So it's pretty tough. So one of the things I was gonna talk about was confronting fa uh, failure and delusion, you know? Um, which one do I want to talk about first? Let's talk about delusions, you know? Like, um, that since I already messed up today, I'm going to just finish out today messing up, and then tomorrow I'm going to start strong. That That leads to failure. You know, easier said than done, and I failed to do it this year, <laughs> and it shows. But once you realize you've up, the best move is to stop right there in your tracks. It's hard, and your mind will tell you so many things. Don't waste your money. Don't waste the food. Don't worry. Just this one. Oh, just a few calories ain't going to hurt you. Oh, this, oh, that. But the issue with it is that it adds up and it's a bad habit, you know. Every time I think about this, I always think about 2016 when I had success just eating normal for like three months. And I remember when I started it, I had to keep talking to myself and saying, this is enough. That's enough. I had to watch my portions. I have to say, no worry, we're going to eat three meals today, so plan it out. And uh, I don't know why it's so hard to do it now, but I know fasting um, doesn't necessarily help with that part of it because when I get off a of fast, I want to eat everything in sight. Um, another delusion it's kind of touching on what I just said. It's like, sometimes you say you're eventually going to lose this weight. So don't worry. Enjoy for now. But 
you're going to start grinding soon. You know, you, you know yourself and don't worry. Just do what you're doing right now. It's just a pattern, you know, but it is sunny on the other side and you're going to reach the other side. So for now, just be in this moment, but don't worry. You're going to start soon. It's no better time than now. It's no better time than now. Another delusion. And sorry for my mood today. Today I've just been off. Like I, I since since the weirdest thing is since I officially booked my vacation, okay, my mood just like dropped. Like, and that coincides around the time I ate too. So I don't know, but my mood is like weird. And it's funny because I haven't eaten in two days. Shouldn't my mood be weird? But it's not even that. It's, that's not even the vibes. So, um, yeah, another big delusion is that you're not obese. You're not fat. You're just a little big, chubby, those sort of things. And every time I have that delusion, I always remind myself that. I keep saying that, but at the end of the day, you're damaging your health, right? Like, how, do you know how long you can actually last with your blood pressure high? Do you know actually how long you can last with congestive heart failure, with this, this, and that? Your body has a lifespan, so... There's no better time than now. So that's one of my biggest delusions. And sometimes I try to tell myself, if you don't get on a scale, right, then you don't have to acknowledge that you're morbidly obese, super morbidly obese, you're back to where you started, all these sort of things. So just don't get on a scale. Just fix the problem. Then you never have to confront it. I don't know if the word for that is delusion. But yeah, yeah, I'm delusional at times. Um, another delusion is that you just need to eat less long enough. Now, I named it like this because this is the way I be talking to myself, but you just need to eat less long enough means... Like, for right now, I'm water fasting. Just eat like this or not eat. Just keep your calories down. You'll lose the weight. And then you're done. But the truth is, you don't have to eat less long enough. You have to eat right forever, you know? Or else the problem will just keep occurring. I'll just keep getting big over and over. Obviously, it's not a, It's not like I don't know. The problem isn't what I know. Or what I don't know. The problem is actually doing it, right? Um, dealing with that unhappiness because I didn't have that, um, I don't know, that chocolate or whatever, you know? Um, another delusion is that, okay, because the word obese has to do with the weight for your height, that sort of thing, your BMI, that sort of thing. Um, sometimes, like when I lose weight and I feel good and I feel like I'm done or I'm close to done, I say to myself, I'm done with obesity. I beat it. But the truth is, <laughs> it lives in me. Even if I'm 150 pounds, I'm still obese. Techn okay, technically, I'm not obese, but I still have obesity. It still lives in me. I can easily snap back 300, 400 pounds, you know? It's not hard because I eat even when my stomach hurt. You know what I'm saying? I eat. Yeah, let's not even get to that. Um... Another delusion that I'm facing is that maybe I can eat like a certain type of diet for the rest of my life or for a long time. But I think all in all is that it creates eating disorders, you know, and it's like, it's like weird eating disorders. They call it orthorexia, but it's like you'll demonize a certain type of food. And, you know, there's people who do this and it works and 
power to them. It's none of my business, right? I'm just talking about my own business. And for me, I know that I probably shouldn't say I'm going to do carnivore diet. I'm going to do keto diet. I'm going to do any type of diet. I'd rather just not eat and then eat everything. Not everything. Like, literally get fatty and eat everything. But, like, be able to eat everything. Learn my triggers. And work on cutting my portions down, you know. And years and years down the line, I want to be able to just eat and not have to think about, uh, oh, if I eat this, if I eat this, this is going to happen. I just know what not to eat and everything else. When I eat it, I won't overeat it type of type of vibe. How realistic is that? Has anyone ever done it before? I don't know. Hmm. So, I mean, that's pretty much the delusions that I'm facing. The biggest one, though, is like the scale. I refuse to get on that scale since, what, July, August? It's got to be, yeah. The last time I got on the scale, I was like 280-something. And that was a long time ago. And I know I went well, well over 320. So right now, I feel like I'm probably like 320. You know? And it's hard. It's hard to really take that in. But it's the reality. Uh, one of the reasons I haven't been getting on the scale, though, even though I already know I fucked up, is that um, that shit makes me highly anxious, yo. Like, that shit makes me so highly anxious. And I feel like if I'm water fasting, and I'm going to do it for a certain days, right, up to 21 days, there's no need for me to get on the scale and know how my weight is changing day to day because I'm not going to alter anything. I'm just going to keep drinking water and keep losing weight. And I'm not really um, chasing any records or anything like, oh, how many, how much weight did I lose in 21 days? I already know in 20 days I could lose between 20 to 50 pounds, you know, 20 to 50 pounds. It depends on things like, is it short term, is it short, short term fat? Is there a lot of water in there? You know, how my body feeling, my metabolism, there's so many factors that my moving, exercising, all those sort of things. So lately, something that's really been bothering me is the way I look. And you know, this brings up another delusion. I used to, especially when I was really young, I used to like wear certain clothes. And because I'm wearing certain clothes, I don't feel big. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel big because I was wearing a certain type of clothing. Um, I remember I, I've been I've been trashing all my larger clothes, and now this year I've gotten so big I've had to go and buy new clothes, two X. You know, I've been refusing to buy three X even though I need it, but I'm like, no, we're gonna lose this weight. I'm not putting three X back in my closet. So I have some two X. I have some two X big. Like this shirt's a two X. You know, I haven't worn two X in such a long time. Well, a year and some change, but <laughs> I'm just happy because I don't want to be fat and I'm not comfortable fat. I used to be very comfortable fat. I'm no longer comfortable fat. Um, and I kind of like social pressure in times like this, you know. You know, like, when you've gone somewhere plenty of times and you were, like, big and then you lost weight and everyone saw you and you had lost weight and then you reappear and you're big again? Do you know, like, that shit feels some type of way for me? So, like, just to keep it funky with you, I kind of avoid going into work, like, the office. I remember when I was thin, I would find any reason to go in because I'd be, like, in and out. I move so well. It's never, like, cumbersome, you know what I'm saying? But, like, as I'm bigger, like, I don't like taking the steps to go up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like to because I'm going to sweat. I'm going to be out of breath, shit like that. Even though I'm still kind of pretty in shape. But, you know, steps is a whole other ball game. So, that's social pressure where it's like, I don't want to get caught looking like I'm going backwards by other people. It makes me give back on my shit, you know? But, um, yeah, man, I completed a 20-day water fast. The weirdest thing about it is I don't see it at all. Well, I can't say at all. I don't I don't really see it the way I, I thought I would. 
And it just helps me to realize how big I've gotten. Because I remember when I used to water fast and I was like 370, 340. And I would look in the mirror before and after the fast and I don't see any difference. So it's like, think about it. If you're like 300 pounds, you lose 30 pounds. That you only lost 10% of your weight. I shouldn't say only like that's a bad thing. But it's, you know, it's 10%. It's not that noticeable. The higher you are, the more weight you have to lose for it to really look. For you to really notice it, right? Whereas if you're 200 pounds and you lose 30 pounds, yo, it's going to be a highly noticeable. You know, 300 pounds, lose 30 pounds. It's noticeable, but it's not like highly noticeable. You know, it's not as noticeable, I should say. But anyways, you know, I'm not happy with where I'm at, but I'm not beating myself up over it. I'm just I'm just talking to myself constantly, telling myself, aren't you ready to make this permanent change now? And then every time I ask myself that, I'd be like, but bro, what about fried chicken and shit? Like, we done with that? That shit tastes really good. Like, yo, but baked chicken tastes good too. So does chicken without the skin. It's tough. It's tough. And then I also told myself, who said you had to stop eating that, you know, chicken? You just might have to stop eating fried chicken. You know? We'll see. Every time I think, like, okay, yeah, my journey's going to be fire. Now I'm realizing, yo, my journey is lifetime. This ain't, like, ten years. This ain't, like, five years. This ain't, like, three years. This going to be lifetime, you know? And my weight may fluctuate for my whole life. But I'm going to always fight it. I'm going to always push. And it's up to me to finally say whatever has a hold on me when it comes to eating, I'm going to separate myself from that. It's your boy, the American African. We in day three of this water fast. I'm feeling good. November's coming to an end. It's really cold outside. It's getting dark really fast. It's fasting season. I'm in it. I'm in the spirit. It's the water fasting gauntlet V3. Part 3.